All right, guys, and we're back with some transferable uh, essential employability skills. Let me get my little, you guys know the deal. I got to move this little doohickey around. Doesn't ever want to help me out. Got to move it really slow. I don't even know if you can see what I'm moving, but it's all my keys. All right, so we're talking about soft skills. We talked about yesterday, some employability skills. We talked about hard skills versus soft skills. Um, and we're looking at these questions. What do skills and abilities say about who I am? What are personal skills and how do I attain them? And how do transferable essential employability skills or those soft skills help me at home, school, and career, right? And so we're going to kind of go through those today. You should have a note-taking guide. You can pause this video at any point to capture these notes on your sheet. And remember, you're going to have a test coming up, so keep this in mind, okay? So soft skills or transferable skills means that they can go across the board, right? They consist of knowledge obtained through personal experience. You might've picked up something in baseball. You might've picked up something in drama, in art class, at home, at a job that can be utilized at home, school, or on the job. So for example, maybe you learned um, just being polite might be one of those soft skills that is transferable. Um, or maybe you know, you know how to play piano and at school you're asked to accompany the choir. That would be a transferable skill, okay? So let's talk about some of these communication skills. All right, these are career ready individuals. Um, they communicate in the workplace with clarity and purpose to effectively share opinions, ideas, and action plans, whether it's using written, verbal, and or visual methods, right? So you're really good at speaking, leading a crowd, talking with the team, right? That's a skill that can go across the board. That'll help you in school, work, and on the job. So at this point, make sure you write that down, pause the video, and then Create some examples of those communication skills, of things I just talked about, right? List me two or three on to the sidebar. So make sure you get this definition and then give me some examples, okay? When you're ready, you can go to the next slide. Then we have problem-solving skills. These are career-ready individuals readily recognizing challenges. They understand the nature of the challenge and they devise def effective plans to solve the challenge, okay? So you're really good at problem-solving. Simple as that. You see a problem, you know how to brainstorm, you know how to try solutions, you know how to test your solutions, you know how to reflect and see if you can get better. Um, if you took this class in the past in sixth or seventh grade, um, it's the problem solving process. You're really good at defining, preparing, trying and reflecting and then kind of repeating that process. So again, write this definition down. Give me some examples for the side. Teamwork skills. Career-ready individuals know how to work well and effectively with others. This is going to pair well with a communication skill, right? Especially they're good at analyzing situations, estab establishing priorities, and applying resources for solving problems or accomplishing tasks, right? These are probably going to be some, some managerial people, right? Or learning or working their way up. They're good at working on those teams and those environments. You're good at group work. You enjoy group work. You're able to prioritize and make lists, okay? Get this definition down. Give me some examples. Then we've got the professionalism, right? These are career ready professional individuals. They take personal ownership of their own educational career goals, right? So if you see something you want to learn, you go get it done. They take responsibility for their behavior and they work effectively and productively with others, right? So think about like if, if you're, these people are probably going after PhDs possibly, or they're pursuing uh, how to learn a skill on YouTube, right? On their own time, anything of that kind of nature taking responsibility for your own behavior. The next one is ethics, okay? Career ready individuals consistently act in ways that align to personal and community held ideals and principles while employing strategies to positively influence others in the workplace. So these, good, these guys are great at holding people accountable to making sure they're doing things the right way, right? Making sure maybe that's following the HMS way here. Maybe that's following your family rules of the house or helping in a community or at a job. Maybe you're helping people problem solve ways to handle a tricky situation without becoming unethical or making it unfair for other people. Okay. By the way, I love this show. The Good Place, probably one of my favorite shows of all time. Resource management. These are career rate individuals are discerning and accepting and using new information. They effectively manage time and resources while using a reliable research process to search for new information right? These are going to be the people that are going to be able to handle large pots of money and maybe a big team to problem solve a solution. Um, you're really good at divvying up the resources fairly across the board. Okay, so after you get these notes done, you could just flip your paper over, right? And I want you to answer these following questions just on the paper there. You don't have to do them in your journal. What are the three most important jobs in the world? 
What skills are needed for those jobs? And do you want or do you want to do any of these jobs? Why or why not? So the three most important jobs. What skills are needed for those jobs? And do you want to do any of those jobs? Why or why not? All right, that's all I've got.